What's up Katie Mars and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be creating a basic bodice for men's. I have done one for women's where I think about three to four years ago, I thought it was about time I did a men's version. So I've done the front, the back and a quick sleeve. This I made for my husband. I worked from his measurements. So if you want to see how I created this pattern, tested the pattern on some affordable muslin then make sure to keep on watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's jump straight into the tutorial To create this pattern, I worked with the following measurements. I have them listed on the screen, so feel free to take a screenshot or take a note of them and measure your client or yourself for the absolute best outcome. I always like to start from the front when I'm creating patterns. So I'm going to be starting with the front bodice. I have a wide sheet of paper here and this is like a thick card. And the first thing I'm doing is drawing a horizontal line that is going to become my shoulder line. From that line downwards, I'm marking the vertical distance from his shoulder to bust and then from bust to waist and then from waist to hip. Do we call it bust or do we call it chest? I'm very confused. Let's just call it bust in this video, but it's like the chest area. So once I'm done marking those vertical distances, I'm just going across to square those points, which just means drawing a horizontal line that cuts across the points that we marked. And along this horizontal line, I'm going to be marking quarter measurements quarter of his around chest around his waist and around the hemline of the front once I have this drawn in place I'm going to go to the shoulder line and I'm going to be marking four inches along the shoulder line like so and then from that four inch mark I'm going to be marking his shoulder width of 6.5 inches his shoulders are broad hence why the shoulder width is wide now I'm marking half an inch below that shoulder width point and I'm just drawing in the slanted shoulder seam now the front neckline depth is four inches this is like a good starting point you can make it higher or lower if you want but this is like a basic pattern so from this I would be making shirts t-shirts jumpers so on and so forth so I'm just going to draw a simple round neck for the front neckline and along the bust I'm marking a quarter of his around bust or around chest measurement plus some ease I'm working with half an inch ease and that I'm connecting back to the edge of the shoulder now along the waist i am going in here to mark a quarter of the waist measurement plus about half an inch ease and then along the hemline i am marking a quarter of her is her round hem or around hip measurement and that i'm going to be connecting together to have the side seam the main difference between the women's bodies and the men's bodies is I noticed the men's one has a much wider shoulder and it kind of tapers in towards the hemline compared to the women that you know it goes out to accommodate our, like, our hips and our bum. That is the main difference in shape. So now I'm just going in here to add seam allowance. You don't have to do this if you want to keep it as a block. I'm just adding seam allowance because I want to quickly test this pattern before I, you know, adapt it to make any future designs that I want to make for George. Now I'm adding a one centimeter or approximately half an inch seam allowance around the entire pattern except the center front edge. I'm going in here to add the grain line and annotation saying that this is the front basic bodice now this is what the front is looking like i'm just going to go in to mark the front arm curve nurch which is roughly four inches above the side seam edge and once i'm done doing that i'm going to go ahead to cut out the pattern now this is like a thick card because i want to keep this basic bodice uh, more or less in this original form so something i'm going to be coming back to trace off adapt change and use to make different projects in the future let me know in the comment section down below what you would like me to make for george i'm thinking about making him a shirt so we can do like ankle <laughs> we're matching outfits together in the same like fabric but i'm going to go ahead to work on the back the back i'm going to be tracing off the main sides from the front so i'm going to be tracing off the hemline i'm going to be tracing off the side seam the shoulder seam but the back arm curve and the back neckline are different like it is on the women's bodies
The back neckline is 2 inches below the shoulder line and this I am marking along the center back edge like so and with my pattern mask I'm going to go in to draw in the back neckline it's just a simple shallow round neck and then I'm going to go to the back arm curve and back arm curve is shallower compared to the front. I'm also going to go in to transfer the notch for the front and add an additional one to differentiate the front from the back bodice. Now this is what the back is looking like. I added grain line annotations and I'm just going ahead to cut it out. So I have my back bodies separate and ready to work with, ready to cut and to join to my front. Now if you already have a sleeve pattern, you can stop at this point. But I have my front and my back bodies and I thought to just, you know, go ahead and make a quick sleeve. So I'm able to test the full thing on him. He can give me any feedback, give me any changes he would like, make it, I don't know if he wants to make it bigger or smaller. This whole process would make it a lot easier for the pattern to come out and to have the best fit on him now i'm just going to get some paper and i folded it in half and i'm marking half of the or using the tape to gauge about half of his around bicep measurement here the folded edge is to the left side of the screen so when i open it up i have a full pattern now i'm just tracing off the front arm curve along this edge like so transferring the notch as well and then i'm going to open up this paper and trace off the other side of the bodice pattern on the other side of the paper now I'm tracing off the back on this other side like so ensuring that that point is at least half of his around bicep so the sleeve actually fits. This is a method I just devised to make quick sleeve patterns. I don't know if it's the standard method but I find that is a quick way for me to create a sleeve pattern. Now I'm just going in here to draw the sleeve head connecting both sides together doing this for this side of the sleeve and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side so connect the bottom dashed lines and then draw a sleeve head that joins the other side of the sleeve I'm going ahead to transfer those notches as well once I'm done transferring them I'm going to go in to mark the sleeve length we wanted to play around with something three quarter so I've marked that in place here and I'm going to fold the pattern back in half and draw in the sleeve hem along that sleeve hem i'm going to mark half of the round hem measurement that i took on george and then i'm going to connect that back to the top edge of the sleeve just ensure that the round bicep measurement is a comfortable fit and then you can go ahead to add like you know seam allowance notches annotations and all that good stuff to ensure that when this folds up correctly it fits along the side seam i'm just marking a point along the seam allowance around the hem that goes outwards because when you fold this piece back up it goes to a slanted edge so you want to mirror that along the hemline of the sleeve and i'm just adding my grain line adding my annotation saying this is the sleeve and i need to cut two and i'm going to just essentially cut out this pattern using a paper scissors so i have it ready to be joined to the main bodice These are all of the patterns I've ended up creating a front and back bodice. I also have a three quarter sleeve here that I have quickly whipped up together. So I'm able to test everything and make any changes that I want to the pattern after I've made like a quick twirl or prototype. Now I'm going to use these patterns to cut on fabric and the fabric I'm using here is just some very affordable muslin. This is like a really thin cotton type fabric and i'm just cutting out a full front i actually went ahead to cut out uh, back both sides of the back and then i cut out two sleeves or a pair of sleeves you can do half of this if you don't want to cut out the full thing i just wanted to see how the shape of the entire thing would be on him before going ahead to make any future projects and I'm just going ahead to join the front to the back and I want to join the shoulder seams first because I want to sew the sleeves in on a flat which essentially means you sew that shoulder seam up and I'm doing this on a one centimeter seam allowance. After I'm doing this on both sides, I'm going to take the sleeve and put right sides together of the sleeve to the joined front and back bodice. 
the sleeve i found to be a little bit too tall on the sleeve head so i went in to just cut off like i'll say about 1.5 inches from the sleeve head so it had a more relaxed fit on the shoulder this is menswear i can't be sewing a puff sleeve into a man's bodice so i made that change on the quick tall hair and on the pattern as well and i'm just going in here to sew the sleeve into the side of the piece i repeated the same thing on the other side and then i'm essentially just going to fold it in such a way that i'm sewing the side seam of the sleeve and the side seam of the bodice in one go to join everything together i left the center back open so that we were able to try it on and check for the fit So I got George to try on the twirl quickly so we could check for errors and make any corrections to the pattern. Now the first thing I noticed straight off was I think the shoulder is just a little bit too wide and the sleeve head is a little bit too oval or too pointed hence it's making this like shape that is not very flattering on his body. He has wide shoulders but they are more rounded than more edgy as you can see from how the tall sits on his shoulder so the plan would be to reduce the shoulder width by about 1 to 1.5 inches and then extend the neckline higher or make the neckline higher by about an inch as as well as make some changes to the sleeve length overall it's not a fair it's not a bad first attempt i would say that shoulder needs to go in a little bit and then the sleeve hem he complained about how it was a little bit too short on the inner side where the seam is so i'm going to be changing the shape of the sleeve hem to have it more curved rather than straight like i did earlier on and then he also wanted the sleeve to be about one inch shorter he's the kind of person that when he knows what he wants once he just says his mind and i appreciate that because that feedback would feed back into the pattern so i'm going to make those changes and possibly make a second tour before i make him his shirt but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please leave your comments ideas and suggestions down below it's so much for making menswear because it's very different from women's wear and i get to experiment with like a different body shape aside mine so let me know any future projects you'd like us to try in the men's wear realm but until next time have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye